Water is a vital part of almost every living creature's requirements for survival. So we're going over why, how, when and which insects drink water, but with a few other species thrown in to give you a better all-round understanding. Why insects drink water? Insects need water primarily for hydration. However, for some insects there are other functions that also need to be performed in the presence of water, like digestion, mating and excretion. The demand for water for different insects largely depends upon the area they inhabit. In general, aquatic insects don't have an issue as water is in plentiful supply. But in severe dry conditions, the water requirements for most insects increases, so they normally turn towards more watery foods or gravitate more towards water abundant environments. So if you've learned something so far, then please give this video a like as it helps us upload more wildlife content like this. Let's go on to how insects drink water. Insects usually drink in two distinct ways. We can simply class these as lapping and sucking. Lapping is the kind of act chewers mostly perform using their tongue-like structures as in the case of ants and wasps. It's akin to a dog or cat lapping at its water bowl. Using this method, the liquid is physically transferred to the insect's mouth. Sucking is performed similarly to how humans suck via a straw. Vacuum pressure is applied to draw the liquid up to the mouth and is mostly used by insects with suckers. These suckers are their oral parts and look like long tubular structures. And insects like butterflies and honeybees use this method. The amount of water an insect drinks depends mostly upon its size. Larger insects have larger metabolic systems, so they generally require greater quantities of water. So providing a specific amount across a range of insects is very difficult, as there are just millions of insect species on the planet of all different sizes. But there are studies for just about everything these days, and one study measured the rates of fluid intake by ants. They estimated that an average ant can drink around a quarter to one-fifth of a single drop of water in a single sitting. So that's around six to eight microliters for any of you science nerds. So we've explained how there are chewers and suckers. Both chewers and suckers will obtain moisture mostly from their prey or from their plant-based materials. But both types will use other water sources when needed, such as the edges of ponds or lakes, puddles or even dewdrops not forgetting the other usual water sources such as sucking blood, nectar and the secretion of plants and other animals. Spiders also need water to function and can drink water by consuming moisture caught in their web. An Australian whistling spider covers itself with a layer of its own web to capture its prey and raindrops and moisture from the air. This covering also keeps the spider cool. People who keep spiders as pets also need to provide a dish of water or a damp sponge as a water supply. Ants, like other insects, also need water in small amounts. Ants use a combination of mouth parts for drinking. It holds the liquid using its hyperpharynx, transfers it by using a part called the glossa, and finally drinks it using its labium, which we can loosely refer to as the ant's tongue. Ants often gather feathers and other materials around their nests, which can store dewdrops for them in the morning. They can also get hydration from their food directly or from animal or bird waste as well. Scorpions and other pincer insect species take their necessary hydration by using their pincer claws. They shift the water droplets according to their need from the water source to their mouths using the pincers. Wasps are chewers, so they use a pincer and tongue structure to take in water and other nutrients. Some varieties of wasps are often seen drinking from leftover soda drops in a glass or from the side of cans and bottles. There are no known insects that do not need water to some degree or other. All the insect species studied to date require water to sustain their body's normal functioning state. Quite simply, without water, an insect will die. But insects can survive for quite some time without it, depending on their diet. The length of time depends on the environment and how much hydration they obtain from any food. Insects in deserts have adapted to survive for longer, for example. And larger insects simply supplement their diet with more water. Studies have revealed that cockroaches can survive up to two weeks within a totally dry environment. The amount of time depends on the species 
the habitat, temperature and atmospheric moisture levels. We hope this was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe for more wildlife top 10s, animal facts and information. And thank you for watching Ranger Planet.